One night, I left my friends. They wondered where I went, and I wondered that too. It was supposed to be another night of being hypnotized by beautiful boys and the bodacious thighs while dancing all dumb, doubting danger, dosing drugs, and drinking with strangers. But for the first time in a long time, I had to stay home. I stayed home in Rome in a place where I could live lies and tell truths tonight which I confronted and I could have control. Instead of collectively cheering with community, I had to come back to my closet. I came back to wonder why I wandered away. I came back to think. I thought about touch and what it means in my community to be told we're good enough with just our fingertips. I thought about drag queens demanding democracy, diluting drama, and giving the damned more damage. I thought about trans women. As our death toll rises like ticks and talks, we take our time and tell our truth. I thought about how bold our bodies were, bumping and booming to each other's beat in a bustling gay bar with sweat and heat. Suddenly, I feel baptized. I thought about our lovers who leave and live their lives, not promising a tomorrow or next times. I thought about our past pulling and pushing our people into poverty and how it is still our present. I thought about how lesbians are living life loud and loving louder, while gay men are lusting in a crowd and liberating prouder just to give us each a bit of power. I thought about how black and brown really bond to what we know to be a rainbow. I thought about the first time that we met and we hosted a hug instead of a handshake because in our hearts, our hearts are humble homes neighbored to each other. I thought about my closet and our closets and how we keep our colorful clothes kept away with our pride until so that one day, that one day you find yourself a key. Whether it's a book, a person, a song, an article, or a magazine, one thing is one day something set us free. Free from failure to perform perfectly because when they only saw wounds of skin, honey, we were born to be burned and it shows how every day I am still flaming, how my love, my sexuality, my gender, and my pride is something I will always be claiming. The night I left my friends to make amends with an odds and ends, I call that just another weekend's cleanse. The first step was to place a mirror in my closet, and the last step was to be honest. Hi Copenhagen, my name is Sylvia Thomas. I was in Copenhagen February of 2018 for Copenhagen Winter Pride. I had such a fun time, an amazing time, and I'm so sad I couldn't be joining you uh, this past Pride in Copenhagen, uh, but we're all in this together. I'm here in the United States. I live in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, and my heart is with all of you. I hope you still felt pride this year. I certainly did, watching so many virtual prides. Um, I hope you all are doing amazing. I hope you all are caring for one another. I hope you all are having a healing time and recognizing that you're so powerful in your queerness and who you are is out of this world magical. So thank you.